this is itel lithium battery i saw the advert on youtube also and i decided to get one and check for myself what do they have to offer us so this is an honest unbiased review of itel lithium battery I like the aesthetic now let's go to the things that came inside the box number one we have the manual we have the communication cable battery and inverter communication cable we have another communication cable this is battery parallel communication wow i love this so many batteries will not indicate that this is because the communication cable that will link your battery to the inverter is quite different from the one that will link your battery together the one that will link your battery together if you want to parallel your batteries is ordinary LAN cable which we can't tell with this unless you have a LAN cable tester so i like as they differentiate it look at it battery parallel communication why this one is battery and inverter communication i love that it will save us the stress of uh, my battery is not communicating they are not communicating with each other and here we have the battery terminal this is the battery terminal right here this is like I think 35 mm of cable. That's good. The second one, the positive, and the iron pegs, the screws for the wall brackets. These are another screws. I have no idea how to use them yet. We'll find out. When I go through the manual, <laughs> these are the mounting brackets. Hmm. We'll put that together and figure it out. So these are the things that came with the battery. Now let's check the specifications and see what we can do with this guy. So at the front we have the power on and off the indicator leds beside this here we have the name plate which is saying product name voltage range 40 volt to 58.4 volt interesting rated energy 5 kilowatts this is 5 kilowatts 48 volts nominal voltage 51.2 so that's the nominal voltage then the opting temperature the start temperature recommended charge current 50 Arms. So that's that at the side, and at the other side we have the uh, these guys. Every uh, uh, at the other side, at the other side we have the battery connectors, the address deep switch, the dry contacts, RS four eight five, and can which is. To be used to communicate it with inverter we can use either rs485 or we can use can as 232 which is the one that we can use to monitor battery bms or whatever we want to monitor with laptop or phone whatever and these are the two parallel ports this and this at the bottom there is nothing much Oof. i think i need to start working out I would have loved to show you the bag, but I cannot lift it. I'm exhausted. So that's everything I can tell you about this battery for now. There's going to be further review on it. But for now, I am impressed with what I've seen so far. Remember how I said I have no issue with this battery? So far, so good. Well, I just realized I have an issue with it. Now, this issue might not be a big deal for others, but to me personally, it is a big deal. And it is the battery terminal on this battery and the cable. <laughs> Now, the way this battery is designed, it is designed that if you want to parallel, if you want to use maybe two, three, four, five batteries, the only way you can parallel these batteries together is for you to use a bus bar and not even an ordinary bus bar. 
the long rails bus bar. Now, me, I don't do my parallel connection that way. I parallel my batteries independently before I even connect them to the bus bar. Now, this is what I do. If this is my master, the positive and negative of my master goes to my positive and negative of slave one. The positive and negative of my slave one goes to positive and negative of slave two. Two goes to positive and negative of three. And let's say I just have four batteries. The positive of my master will now be the one that will go to my bus bar. The negative of my last slave will be the one that will go to my bus bar. Even if I have 16 batteries, I will have just two cables, which is positive from the master and negative from my last slave, which is battery 15. All I will need is just to get positive and negative cable that can deliver what the entire band requires. But with this design, I can't do that. They are not giving me room to do that. Now, I'm not disputing that they use this type of connector, but at least they should have made it 2-2. Two, two. The positive should be 2, the negative should be 2. That way, if I'm able to get a cable like this, I can do my connection from this battery to the next battery. But right now, I cannot do that because I can't connect two cables to one terminal here unless I'll go and pick it from the bus bar. Which with this design now, if I'm using 16 batteries, I have to take 32 cables to my bus bar, which to me is just an unnecessary bulky setup. The second thing I don't like about this system is that it's not really user friendly because it didn't give us a display. Now it is fine if it didn't give us a display, but at least it should be able to give us an app that we can use to communicate with this battery so that we can know what is going on inside this battery. These indicators, if it's blinking, whatever it is, is blinking. You have to rush to the manual and check what it means. So which means anytime I want to check what is wrong with this battery, if I happen to misplace this, then I don't have a way out. I feel battery technology has gotten to a stage where with a single Bluetooth and a basic app, we'll have access to the BMS. Give us access to your BMS. We want to see what is happening with the cells, either through an app or a display. So if I'm to rate this battery, I'll give it a solid 5 over 10. If you like content like this, do me and you a favor and hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and drop us some likes. Thank you. My name is Bashir from Interdem.